Okay, then let's speak about trust. <laughs> Who can you trust these days? I like this topic and I like having this debate. As soon as I'll ask who can you trust, there'll be men who will jump up and say, I can trust my friends, my boys, I've known them for my whole life. Let's stay in that category. Let's stay in the friends category. Let's dismiss family and women for now. Now, there'll always be guys that will jump up and say, yeah, my boys, I've known them forever. I can trust them. Look, they've got my back. They're this, they're that. Yeah, right. Okay, then. I'm going to speak to you. You guys watching, I'm going to speak to you. Look, you're a man of honour. Look, you've got morals. Like, I can trust you. Based on just the way you are, based on your morals, what you consider right and wrong, I can trust you. Because if you care about someone, they can trust you. Right? Now, in reality, I can pretty much guarantee that you cannot trust your friends 100%. When I say 100%, you cannot trust them in every single category. For an example, you can have one friend that you can 100% trust with your money, but you can't trust with your girl. Or you can trust him with your girl, but you can't trust him to back you up in a fight. Or you can trust him to back you up in a fight, but you can't trust him to speak well of you when you're not there to other people, right? So, yes, you can trust people in certain categories, but can you trust them in every single category? Now, I'm not speaking about the type of friendships that you've went out there and seeked. You know, we've got internet these days. You can go and seek men who think the same and have the same values as you and join that group. I'm not speaking about that. I'm speaking about the average guy who's just ended up with the friends he's ended up with. Why you ended up with these people? You went to the same school, you lived in the same area. Maybe you had one thing in common and you became friends on that. Maybe you liked the same, you, you played the same sport, now you've just continued the friendship. Or you both like video games, now you've continued the friendship, right? Can you trust these people 100% just because you've known them? Now, a lot of mistakes men make is they don't analyze the friendships. And when I say analyze the friendships, I don't mean in a negative way. I don't mean try and find things to cut them off, but at least know who you're dealing with. So for, uh, for example, we've all got that friend who never gets pussy. He's probably desperate for pussy. Desperate. Can you trust that man with, with your woman or even on a smaller scale, just the woman that you're speaking to? Usually that's the type of guy that would DM your girl behind your back. Maybe tell her something about you to try and get her away from you so he can have her. But at the same time, he won't take your money. You understand? Or what about the guy? Actually, maybe it's the opposite of that. Maybe he does get pussy, but he's obsessed with women non-stop. So you go out, you're just going out, you're going to the supermarket, you're with your boy, you're going for food, or you're going to buy some shoes or something. Your boy's there and he's like looking for the women. Where's the women? Where's the women? Bro, we're just doing a regular quick 30 minute journey to here to there. But he's looking for the women. Like a dog, la, la, la. obsessed. Can you trust him with your girl when you're not there? Maybe he might make a move. Maybe he won't on a regular day. Maybe after a couple of drinks, he might. You understand? Have you analysed this? Or maybe the guy who's got no money, but you've left five grand cash in front of him. You might try and slip a hundred. Maybe you won't notice. Just slip a hundred away from you. But at the same time, this guy will jump in front of a bullet for you if he got into an altercation. But he's broke. He might need to take your money. Like he's just, he, That's just what, yeah. Have you thought about that? Have you analysed that? Or you're just going through blindly, trusting everyone 100% based on how long you've known them. Because you could know someone for a couple of weeks that you can trust more than people you've known your whole life. And this is a mistake that men make. Oh, you've known this guy for 20 years. Oh, 20 years later, he's fucked your girl. What happened? I thought we were boys. I thought we trusted each other. You didn't analyse him. You didn't, know, you didn't really look at who he was. You just went through, blind, you went through blindly. Now, at the same time, ask yourself... Who are you out of the friend group? I know who I am. I ain't fought no one's girl. I ain't stole no one's money. You understand? Maybe you don't do things on purpose. Can I trust you to look after my kid? Are you gonna pay attention? Are you gonna watch him? Or are you gonna let him climb up on the cabinet on the kitchen and fall off and crack his head? What are you that type of? You understand? So sometimes it's not even like a, um, I don't know what the word is, but you might not mean any harm. But you need to analyze, can I trust him? Not because he do it in a malicious way, just because he's just not, he might not be all day, don't really pay attention. Can I just leave him to look after my kids? You understand? So you gotta analyze your friendships and analyze who you can trust. Now, okay then, I can't trust this guy with my girl, but he's my boy, I've known him my whole life. I can trust him in all these other categories, but I just can't trust him here. Then just act accordingly. I'm not saying that your girl will actually do anything, but why even 
put that situation there for him to try. You've got to fight this guy. It's drama, blah, blah, blah. Just don't have them around each other because this guy, you know, after a few drinks, he gets a bit funny. You know when you're out with your boys and your girls there, all of a sudden one of your friends is a comedian now. He's talking down on you in front of your girl, but in such a subtle way that you know what's going on, but if you said something out loud, you'll look crazy. You know what, we've all been there. You understand? Analyze your friendships. You can trust people in certain categories unless you've seeked out at, like, individuals that have got the same moral, moral compass as you, the same integrity as you, you've sought out these people or you've met them in different type of circumstances. Just the people that are around you in the area you grew up with, in the school, in the... Don't go through life just 100% trusting anyone. Analyse them and analyse yourself. Are you a man of integrity? Can people trust you? Ask yourself. Peace.